maybe an 80 out of learning. A decisive win with minimal casualties. Hmm. What can I say? I'm that a perfectionist. Can't get any better than that. Hardly worth the effort. Minimal casualties. Casualties. Why can't they all? What can I say? I'm a perfectionist. I am without I limits. I refuse to stop here. Oh, 
strong. Try to withstand this. Must use this gift to protect others. Oh yeah! Look at me now! Aurelia! Dad! Master! <laughs> it's a trap! They're all over the place! How rude! You just had to go and ruin the production by tattling, didn't you? Well, it had a stupid story anyway. <laughs> a son thinking he could just walk into our lair and save his father? No wonder they're both going to die. Kill them! Get Dad and Rilia! Will do! What? Through the gate, you crossed ah! ah! This is ridiculous! Surrender! Just make us! Fire! Shoot to kill! What? Father! Oh no! The once great bloodbaths pierced to pieces! At last we know which side will be bested! Okay, men! Withdraw! Happy! 
happening? Emerson, can't you guys cure him like you did with Miki? No, we can't. Why not? We have neither our ship nor the right equipment like we did before. <clears throat> Go. Dad. Protect. I'm so sorry you had to protect Relia for me. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> no, Fiddly. At times like this, you should say... Thank you so much, Dad. You protect me? I'm sorry. Thank you. Everyone else went to go fight. I don't want to leave his side. I know. Fiddly, you're not gonna join them? Don't push yourself. You've tried hard enough already. No one will get mad at you if you leave the fighting to others this once. Hear that? Doesn't sound like the battle will end anytime soon. You should stay close to Pops' side. For his sake. I'm sure he doesn't regret his decision. Are you sure you're all right? If you get overwhelmed, just say the word. You matured so much, I'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference between you and your father now. I'm terribly sorry. Stay strong and persevere. You're the only one
shelter from the rain. Yeah. We did it, right? We may have avenged my father, but that won't bring him back. To think that I'd hear you talk about protecting people. That statement is proof that you're now able to care for those around you, to think of people other than yourself. The desire to shelter the weak from danger is one that blossoms in all people eventually. I'd say, You've grown into a fine example of a man. Go! Dad! Protect! Dad wouldn't want me to mourn his death. That would only hinder me from... from walking the path he worked his whole life to lead me down. I wanted to give you this earlier. It was your father's. Now you deserve to have it.
Sorry. I would like to come with you. We would love to have you, but what about the army? As there will be no large-scale operations for the time being, I received permission to escort Lady Brunelli to her homeland. <laughs> What's this? The righteous lieutenant finagled his way into an army-sponsored trip? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about what happened to Master Camus. I may not have been able to protect him, but I vow I'll protect you. Thanks for the sentiment, but at the same time, Relia is the one we should all be protecting. Ah, good point. To Santarol.
Pardon me. Whoops. Use this gift to protect others. Hardly worth the effort. Perfectionist. Hardly worth the effort. Our enemy's strength is equal to ours. Don't take me so lightly! Can't get any better More than that. More challenges lie ahead.
Black. Stand back and let the adults do their job. Another trial. That was maybe an 80 out of 100.
weaken! Can I say I'm a perfectionist? Hey, fine. I'll do it. Without limits. The animals on this planet are tough. They're a pain in my... neck. It's not like you to complain, Captain. Hey, you want to hear something funny? I just saw a small insect go inside your shirt. <laughs> just kidding. I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> Next time you try something like that, I'm using electric fists on you. Expect no mercy. Ah, duly noted.
Fall back! Enemy. Let's rethink our plan. Whoops. Sorry.
You're having a hands-off superior has its problems, huh? <sighs> What's the matter? I'm sorry. It's just that you reminded me of my own mentor. He prioritized his research over me and went off somewhere. That must have been rough. I still miss him. Sorry. Sorry.
win with minimal casualties. Kenny here. What is it? Captain, I'm sorry to report that it will take us longer than expected to reach your position. I knew it. That's not all. No, extra long range sensors have detected a chrono spacecraft. Oh, no. I'm fine. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Not much we can do. Sitting ducks once that ship gets here. Our only hope is that this expunction technique works and they give up on Relia. Then let's hurry. Decisive win with minimal casualties. as it gets.
with this. Here goes! Decisive okay, win with minimal than casualties. It's more challenges okay. lie ahead. Say when it'll be running again. There's nothing we can do except work to repair it as fast as possible. Sorry. Cassius, we need to use the expunction device. What are you doing? Hold on a second. No time. Stop right there. You can't physically use it. What do you mean we can't? It's not functioning at the moment. We're still trying to determine the optimal way to fix it. <sighs> Why did it have to break now of all times? If you're in a hurry, might I suggest using the one in the Ancient Institute instead? 
There's one there? Of course. Most of the devices here are reproductions of ones in the Ancient Institute. Oh, thanks a bunch, Cassius. I love you. Come on, we need to make for the Ancient Institute. We've got no other recourse, I guess. Let's book it. This is Kenny. I have an update, sir. The Chrono ship has just entered Fakery 4's orbital trajectory. What? I hope we make it in time. Do you think you'll be all right, Captain? I'll contact you later. we have no choice I wouldn't who's that general Alma as part of Kronos's militant faction he tops the galaxy's most wanted list how kind for someone of his stature to greet us so he's behind all this Fidel really but how can that be Sis, what? Really, uh, did she say sis? Are you too imbecilic to realize the instrument you have is not really a... What? The one in your possession is Feria, and it is the foundation upon which Kronos is to build its new world order. It also differs from the unit you hold so much extraneous affection for. Thus, I doubt you will mind returning it. Why is a famous general fighting in the galactic equivalent of some backwoods Hicks family feud? Interesting question. I could ask the same of you, Captain Kenny. Hold it. Just how do you expect to save Little Miss Starlight from all these heavily armored troops? If all the reports I have received on you are correct, whelp, I believe your name is Fidel. So, Fidel, if you possess even a modicum of sympathy for that thing, stand right there and don't move. Retrieve Feria for me. Mickey! I know that light. Activate the neutralization device! So, the boy is the catalyst after all. Fascinating. With some modifications, we should be able to draw even more power from her. Bring her here! We'll be taking Feria with us. Thank you for holding on to her, Fidel. Due to your act of kindness, we were able to collect precisely the data we needed. <laughs> 
<sighs> Take us away. Aurelia! Damn it! The Institute? They seem to have warped out. Now she's not even in the same sector as us. Isn't there something we can do to save Relia? Anything at all? We'd have to get our ship back before we could do anything else. And how long will it take for you to get it back? It's scheduled to arrive in a day at the earliest, but we'll likely arrive in two. Then all we can do is wait. Wait. This is a problem between the Federation and Kronos. There's no need for you Fakridians to get involved. It's too late for that. Don't take it the wrong way. She was thinking of your well-being when she said that. If you come with us, then... If we go with you? Then... you may never be able to return to this planet again. Even if we do save Relia. We might never see our home again? <sighs> if you wish to join us, be prepared for that eventuality. Those of you who remain undeterred can assemble in Santa Roll. Understood. Okay. You've already made up your mind, haven't you, Fiddly? Yeah. I'll always follow your lead wherever you take us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to return to Stahl first. I'll let you choose the way. Kenny here. Captain, our vessel will be arriving in Fake Creed 4 Sector in approximately 17 hours from now. Contact me again once you enter orbit. Do you think Fidel and the others will come? What would you do in my shoes? Would you be so eager to conduct research in an unknown land? If it meant possibly throwing everything away and never coming home? <sighs> I bet you would. That's why you're not here now. If a true researcher somehow dropped a valuable piece of evidence into a bottomless pit, he jumped right in after it without thinking a whit about his own safety. <laughs> right? What a poor excuse. I wonder if he believes it. As a central Rasulian officer, I have a responsibility to care for my subordinates and protect the country from harm. It would be wrong to forget that. On the other hand, what of Fidel? I can't in good conscience abandon my mentor's own son. Please, Master. I need your guidance. What would you do in my shoes? Fiddly, you do... recall when you guys took me in, right? Yeah. So many were killed. Like Papa and Mama and more. Not to forget your own mom. Because that wicked illness... beset our little town. It was disastrous. I know I was certainly at wit's end. But then you said... These words. I'll take care of you like kin. Dry those tears, right? 
Stop that blushing here. <laughs> My dad was always another lance. Meaning my world lacked structure. I bet taking care of you is why I'm still here today. You think so? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're no longer... little kids now. No, we're not. Well then... Can we, uh... Sorta, kinda... I don't wanna... Stay your sister any longer. Well then... I'll stop being a big brother to you. Then can I... Call... You Fidel now? Works for me. All right, Fidel. Here on out, I won't allow any people to hurt you. I should... I should say that, not you. Let's go. Our pals will want us back soon. Whoops. Nice weather. Laundry always dries so fast on beautiful days like this. Come to think of it, I haven't had a chance to actually do a proper load of laundry on the road. I want to bury my face like this, in a blanket that's just been dried in the sun. Now I want to do the laundry.
Sorry. Oh, Emerson. Ah, Fiore's already here too. You're late. Sorry about that. At least you proved me right that you'd come. So you did come after all? We figured this whole thing started with us, so we should see it through to the end. Plus, we couldn't leave Relia or Feria like this. Has Victor arrived yet? No, he hasn't. Oh, I see. Well, he does have the most going on. What about you, Fiore? I'm going because it's apparently in my blood as a researcher to do so. Kenny to the Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle here. Delacroix! Whew, it's such a relief to know you're okay. As is the rest of the crew, sir. We're all back in action. So, what did you want? Transport the five of us up there. I detect one more person heading in your direction. What do you want me to do? One more? Aha! Uh -huh. Look over there! It's Victor! Sorry to be so tardy. You made up your mind? Yes. I just submitted my request for leave. Change of plans. Make that six people to beam up. Six it is. Amazing place. I forgot this is your first time here, Victor. No time to chat. We need to make for the bridge. The bridge. Whoa. Is there something wrong, Victor? You all right? I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting this entire room to start moving. The equipment at the Royal Institute surprised me, but this is something else. So, this is your new ship? You know it. Welcome to the latest in battleship technology. The Charles de Gaulle G. The previous one was a research vessel, whereas this one was built specifically for combat. Thus, it should prove more than capable of taking on Kronos' cruisers. I'm not sure I really get the difference, but both versions sound spectacular. <laughs> What's the deal? The target is already well within the detection field of our ultra-long-range sensors. According to their data, the ship is heading for the Omphalos system at a speed of warp 14.3. Warp 14.3? That has to be some kind of mistake. It isn't. What's that mean? It means they can travel faster than us. This particular Charles de Gaulle is as advanced as Federation warship technology gets. It boasts a cruising speed of warp 11.2 and a top speed of warp 12.9. Despite all that, our adversaries leave us in the dust because they can travel at warp 14.3. That doesn't make sense. It's only a difference of 1.4, isn't it? A difference in warp speed of magnitude 1.4 equates to them being more than twice as fast as us. 
Moreover, we can't continuously operate at top speed. Cruising slows us down even further, meaning we could never hope to catch them as long as they keep going. Oh no! Gravitic warp time. That's impossible. The Gravitic Warp Engine is still an experiment. It hasn't even undergone its 24-hour endurance test yet. A real-world deployment is tantamount to suicide. That alone doesn't make it impossible. It just makes it not the safest bet in the world. I've managed to establish contact with Dr. Krupp at Remote Station 5. You are too damn good at this. Long time no see, Doctor. A long time indeed, Captain. I hear that you've decided to take the Model G out for a spin. You are indeed a Kenny through and through. Sorry about that, but this ship's imperative to my mission. Well, it has to be tested at some point. Why not make it now? By the way, while I assume there's only one reason you'd contact me at this juncture, let me ask for the hell of it. What do you want? To use Gravitic Warp. Denied. You're allowed to go a maximum warp speed of 11, and that's only in spurts. You've got to be joking. That's slower than normal warp speed. There's a dangerously high probability that we won't be able to control all the creation energy required to activate the Gravitic Warp Engine. Therefore, we're forced to use the normal warp engine for energy, resulting in the aforementioned lack of speed. As concise and accurate an explanation as ever, Miss Patriciani. I fail to see your issue, Captain. The normal warp engines aboard that cruiser are state-of-the-art. You can go plenty fast. Well, the Kronos ships have a cruising speed of 14.3. What? I was totally unaware they'd come so far with their technology. How fascinating. We've surmised that their tech is likely based on symbometrics. Symbometrics, huh? They do say it directly influences the fundamental composition of matter. Meanwhile, we've barely scratched the surface of that discipline. No wonder they're ahead. We can't disregard the possibility that Kronos is able to repress creation energy, or perhaps a similar type, through the use of symbometrics. What do you have there? I'm reviewing the information we recovered from the database inside their facility. It seems, however, that their symbometric research draws heavily upon the principles of Fey Creed IV signaturgy. I can't grasp much of what's written here. Let me see that data of yours. Although, judging by what you said, I might not be able to understand much of it at the moment. If possible, I'd like to get the opinion of a local expert. Fiore. You've already input all the information I've gathered into that machine. If you want to learn anything new, you should probably ask someone else. Speaking of which, what about asking Cassius? He's probably our best bet. We'll head for this local expert's place immediately, Doctor. Once we're there, you can talk to him directly. Perfect. I'll set it so I can receive transmissions at any time. You know the drill, Anne. Take her with you to the Royal Institute in Langdok. Yes, sir. The rest of us will hold down the fort until they're back.
corpse. And to the bridge. How'd it go? I believe we'll have our answer soon enough. That's wonderful. Then come to the bridge ASAP. All right. <sighs> the two of them get along with each other way too well. Connect me to Dr. Krupp. How's it coming along, Doctor? It's done. That's how it's coming, Slowpoke. Already? You never cease to amaze, Doctor. Well, let's cut to the chase. You'll need to both reprogram some aspects of the software and physically apply symbols to the outside of the Gravitic Warp Engine. Imbue the Warp Engine with symbols? I would never have thought of that. It's possible. And I can rewrite the software from here. But the symbols are the real problem. Sadly for you, I'm not a Symbometrics expert. I don't know a thing about how to imbue objects with symbols. Dr. Krupp, can you show me a list of the symbols we need? This is the symbological formula, a copy of which I've sent to your engine room's terminal. It looks pretty intricate, but I should be okay. What? Are you kidding me? They're the same as signets in principle, so... Anyway, I've never done such long and complex ones before, but I'll give it all I've got. Excellent. Say, what was your name again? Fiore. Fiore Brunelli. I'll have to remember that. Very well, let me start rewriting the program. If you can faithfully reproduce the formula I sent, we shouldn't have any problems. Got it. Imbue that engine good. Leave it to me. Um, uh, Fiore? Would you mind if I tagged along and watched you imbue the engine? I've never seen anyone imbue an object before, so I can't help but be curious. I suppose it's only natural for a Signaturge to be interested in this kind of thing. Mind if she comes too, Anne? Of course. No objections here. <gasps> yes! You should come with me and see it for yourself, Fidel. You weren't around when I got mine imbued, so I bet you've never seen it performed before, right? What? Uh, I don't know. It can't hurt to acquire some new knowledge. I don't see why you would refuse. She speaks the truth. There's never a reason to turn down a request from a lady. Captain? <sighs> Follow me to the engine room. Deck three. Engine room.
This must be the symbological formula he sent. Luckily, I just started researching compound signets and the combinations of base signets that form them. I've tried many different sequences before, but I've never seen anything near this complex. That's stark evidence of how great Cronus's strides in symbological technology have been. And those strides are what led to the creation of Relia and Faria's signets? This is the engine room. The Gravitic Warp Engine's core should be right up ahead. It would be dangerous for you to get any closer, so could you please stand back? All right, then. This is it. Okay, Fiore. I'll bring up the symbological formula on this terminal, and you can do the actual imbuing. If you want to view the formula from a different angle, or have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks. You know, I don't think I'll ever get over feeling nervous when I have to imbue someone else's stuff. All right, let's get to it. So this is what imbuing looks like. And that was our final symbol. <sighs> Thank goodness. It's all over. Congratulations on a job well done, Fiore. Are you okay? I am tired, but I do want to see the results of all this. I suppose we should make our way to the bridge now. I've updated the software. Now our fate is squarely in the hands of Lady Luck. I thought you might like to know, Captain, that I've never done this without running months of tests first. If this ends in failure, I'll apologize to you all in heaven. I highly doubt that'll be necessary. I'll cut the power to the engine if I see any abnormalities. I see. Shut down regular warp engines. Yes, sir. Shutting down regular warp engines. First, we need to see if it can even start. Now, engage Gravitic Warp Engine. Aye, aye, sir. Engaging the Gravitic Warp Engine. What's going on? Come on. The Gravitic Engine's up and running. Warp 1. We good? All systems normal, and gravitic wave values within predicted limits. First, try increasing the speed to warp 5. Warp 5. Yes, sir. Warp 2. 3. 4. At warp 5. There don't seem to be any problems yet. Now it's time for the real test. My calculations say we can safely accelerate to warp 15. Just... Do it carefully. You heard him. Accelerate to warp 15. Uh... Yes, sir. Six... Seven... Eight... Nine... We're now at warp 10, sir. Keep accelerating. Eleven... 
12, 13, 14. Good so far. Careful. This is the moment of truth. 14.2, 14.4, 14.8, 14.9, 14.7, 14.8, 14.9, 14.7, 14.8, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 14.9, 
Launch four photon torpedoes on course 90, mark 90 at 100,000 clicks. Yes, sir. 30 seconds to current destination. After that, set engines to full power and take the enemy from behind. Fire phase cannons once we have visual contact, but don't aim for their engines. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, sir. Destination reached. Firing four photon torpedoes. Enemy taking evasive action. Torpedo 70,000 clicks out. Engines at full speed. Fire all phase cannons at the enemy's projected position. Firing phase cannons. The phase cannons all hit the enemy ship, but they seem to have had no effect. So, their shields aren't half bad either. Fire the last four photon torpedoes. Copy that. Firing. They managed to evade the first four torpedoes. The next four at 5,000 clicks. Three made contact with the enemy shields. And? Their shields are in perfect condition. Their speed remains constant. Damn it. It's our newest ship and we're barely treading water. They have quite the shields, don't they? Captain, now that we can run the Gravitic Warp Engine for extended periods of time, it should be possible to use that energy to launch quantum torpedoes. This ship is equipped with 12 of them for testing purposes. You're right. That last attack should lead the enemy to underestimate our firepower. Hiding quantum torpedoes amidst a barrage of photon ones should also increase the likelihood they'll hit. That's my end for you. Load four photon and quantum torpedoes apiece. Don't forget to set it so they do not target the engine room. Aye, aye, sir. Preparing four photon and quantum torpedoes for launch. The enemy vessel's changing course. Their new course indicates they'll attack, not evade. They think they can take down our shields with a volley of plain old torpedoes. There's no doubt they underestimate us. Fire two photon torpedoes, then fire two quantum ones. Yes, sir. Firing two photon torpedoes. Now firing two quantum ones. Captain, sensors read the enemy has launched eight torpedoes of their own. Take evasive action. Yes, sir. Talk about a bold move. That proves it. They don't think anything of our artillery. Photon torpedoes, 5,000 clicks out. Quantum torpedoes, 8,000 clicks out. Enemy torpedoes incoming at 20,000 clicks. The enemy's making no attempt to evade. Photon torpedo contact imminent! Their shields sustained no damage. Still no sign of evasion from them. Quantum torpedo contact imminent! Captain, their shields have been reduced to 11%. We've also confirmed their engines are no longer operational. Yes. And their torpedoes? We succeeded in avoiding all eight of them. What a thrashing. Hold that thought. The enemy ship has lost power and is now caught in a nearby planetoid's gravitational field. What was that? Uh-oh. If that ship goes down, Little Miss Starlight goes down with it. Engines at half speed. Pull to within ten clicks of the enemy. Ten clicks, sir? There's nothing their ship can do to us. It's lost all power and gone utterly silent. Understood. Engines to half speed. We're currently 10,000 clicks out and gradually slowing down. And once we get within 10 clicks, halt its descent with our tractor beams. Will do. Currently 1,000, 500, 100, 10 clicks away, sir. Secure the ship with tractor beams. Activating tractor beams. Their ship's trajectory has stabilized. I want to talk to their captain. Open a comm link for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, there's no response from them. Is it that they can't respond, or that they simply don't want to? We'll have to board them and settle this face to face. Prepare the transporter, and don't forget to investigate the ship's layout. Yes, sir. All right, everyone, to the transport room.
Delacroix, what's the situation inside the ship? It's lost almost all its power, including the default generator. All that's left is a small reserve, which is connected to the life support system. Then let's hurry. Prep for transport. All right. Time to board the enemy's ship and get Little Miss Starlight back. Okay. Energizing. Strong, try to withstand this! Give me That's all you got? Done here, just as I expected.
Not my best performance. <laughs> At least that.
Ready to retire yet? Warrior must continue to hone his skills.
Could have been worse, I, I guess. Down here. to stop here.
I expected. Must use this gift to protect others. Looks like Federation curs have come barking up our tree. Relocate the test subject at once. Sir! 
This is why I told you. When you go to the research lab, put that one in the shuttle as well. So, one of the kiddos is apparently inside that room, while the other's in the research facility. I'm pretty sure our plan is to rescue them both, right? Then why don't we start with the one in front of us? It's as Miki says. We should help her. Don't you understand the position you're in? Think it over. You have a lot more to lose by doing that than us. Still, I'd rather blow her brains out than let the Federation get its paws on her. <laughs> Victory is mine! And so are your weapons. Hand them over. Don't take a single step forward. You know very well what'll happen if you do. Hmm? Over here! Way to go, I wish you fitting this really for the most adept swordsman in all of Rasulia, indeed. You okay? Uh, yep, I'm okay. Whatever you do, don't even think of leaving my side. Okay. No, no, no! Our plan! Not a single one of you is getting out of here alive! In the right this way!
resonance of both mind and body calls forth untold strength. Divine Wrath! You okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? Nope. I'm okay. Really, uh, thank goodness. Mickey! We are all happy to see Relia safe and sound. However, we cannot stay here much longer. Relia, do you want to come with us and help rescue Feria? Yep. I'll come with you.
Kenny, to the Charles de Gaulle. This is the Charles de Gaulle. Transport the seven of us over there right away. I can't. There appears to be a shield encasing your ship that blocks transport functionality. Captain, they've set a silent countdown self-destruct sequence. They love their explosions. How much time left? 27 minutes, 19 seconds. It's still calculating, but we clearly don't have much time. Can we stop it? Not with this little time. The command's far too advanced to override. What about the jamming? Its security is the same level as the countdowns. What's more, it appears to be directly linked to the captain's vital signs. Delacroix, can you send a shuttle to the cargo bay over here? I can and I would, but the doors to your cargo bay are closed. We'll take care of that. Aye, aye. I'll have a shuttle waiting for you right outside the doors. Got it. Over now. I take it there will be someone waiting for us at this cargo bay? Right. Us. Cargo bay. Now. Resonance of both mind and body calls forth untold strength!
here. Yep. I'm okay. Divide and conquer! <laughs> That hardly worth the effort. I'm without limits. Okay. Made it. Maybe an eighty out of a hundred. Yeah. No one decided to lock the hatch. I'll get it open. We got 32 seconds remain. That's too short. Captain to the Charles de Gaulle. Hi, Reed. Your present location? Lower your shields a sec. Then reset the boundary to nine clicks. Go all out with the new warp engine and head toward the enemy ship as rapidly as you can. That's just rash. Five seconds remain. I said do it. The clock's ticking. Secure. <laughs> All systems clear. The shuttle should be okay. So we're not in any danger? We did it, sir. Thank you. We're still alive. Goodness. Let's return to the Charles de Gaulle. I must have overslept. I wonder how Relia's doing. Sorry. Whoops.
pardon me.
Fidel. What's wrong? What are you doing, Fidel? Taking a walk. Maybe I should come along too. I'll come too. Perfect. Then let's be on our way. Problems are just piling up. We can't let this escalate to all-out war. Kronos is sure to make an official demand for her return. You don't think erasing her symbols is viable anymore? Even if it is, it's unlikely to defuse the situation at this point. <sighs> It'd be so much easier if Little Miss Starlight had never been created. <gasps> Captain! Really? was uncalled for. I know. I'm sorry. Relia! Leave me alone. Everyone would be a lot happier if... If only I weren't around! That's not true at all, you know that! It's okay. I'm tired of this. Leave me alone! Fidel! I promised that I'd protect you. If you left me behind, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. If you're going to jump, Relia, then let me jump with you. You might never be able to rid yourself of that pain. It might influence how you live until the day you die, but right now, Relia, I want you to live for me. Without you, there's no chance I could ever be happy. Please don't do anything like this ever again, okay? If for some reason you ever stop believing in yourself, you can always believe in me instead.
This is my fault. If anyone deserves the blame here, it's me. I apologize for my behavior. I never meant that I didn't want you to be created. It was a poor choice of words. We're very sorry that we brought this incident upon you. You won't do that again, right? Fidel, Miki, Fiore, Victor, Relia. You're all needed on the bridge. Do you happen to recall what that enemy captain said before we fought in front of Relia's holding cell? Something... about a shuttle, right? Mm-hmm. He said, when you go to the research lab, put that one in the shuttle as well. Mm-hmm. Good memory. From that statement, we can obviously infer that Ferry is inside their research facility. A Kronos research facility, huh? We found two of their symbology labs in the course of our journey, though. Aha! Eureka! One of them got blown to bits and he's useless now, so... The only one left is Symbological Facility Prime on the banks of the ISOC. Okay, everyone to the transport room. We're coming for you, Feria. Sorry.
It's no good. They've updated their security software. This would be so much easier if they were idiots. Will it take much longer? No, it won't. Because this time we can use our ship's main computer. Decryption complete. We can now override the facility's transporter. Wow! Can you send us to the third basement floor? The one with the gigantic terminal? You know it. Three floors down, you say? That shouldn't be a problem. Energizing.
I hate to say this, but it looks as if this terminal doesn't contain any information on Faria. It makes sense they pull us stuff like this, considering the entrance's security system was reprogrammed as well. Well then, should we try to search for another terminal or something? There are definitely rooms we haven't checked yet, so if we search them all high and low, then... What a warm reception. Go where all these enemies are coming from. You're saying they're controversial. The the most vital. There is at the end of this trail. No, Who are you? I'm Rafine, the curator of the biological specimen wing here. Please, follow me. I'll take you to the girl you seek. Wait, why would someone like you cooperate with us? Because I deemed you formidable. Formidable? Not a single one of the researchers in this division are working here of their own accord. 
including me. We've had enough. We simply can't involve those two any longer. The issue, however, is that releasing them solves nothing. They will continue to be sought out by one party or another. They must be protected from both Kronos and the Federation. Come this way, please. This could be a trap. Stay vigilant. These animals are all corrupted. So you are the ones who did this? Yes, as one aspect of our research. Why are there security drones here? They aren't authorized to patrol this section. It's time to fight fire with fire. Attack! We're not running away? If you think you're so strong, try to withstand this! Like in gaining on my phone. Protect everyone. Feels good to be so strong. successful. Hurry, our destination's beyond the store. Let's do this.
think you're so strong, try to withstand this! Are you alright? Don't push yourself. I'm okay. We're safe. And it's all thanks to you, Relia. <laughs> Look! General Alma! It's Faria! It's Faria! General Alma, Director. Is it safe to assume this is all going according to plan for you? <laughs> I must say, I did not expect you to turn traitor on us, Rafine. How unfortunate. Get back, ma'am. Your life is in danger. <sighs> I see you took Relia from us, as I knew you would. Otherwise, you'd hardly be worthy of the Kenny name. Why don't I take Faria as well? Such a loud bark for a small runt. I am Thoris, the one and only director of this fine laboratory. Thanks to your tireless efforts, I have collected some truly superlative data. It somehow escaped me that activating space-time symbology catalyzes the release of certain hormones. But you, Fidel was it, kindly brought it to my attention. All this was for space-time symbology? I brought it to your attention? What's that mean? In other words, they knew full well that we'd save Relia from that Kronos battleship. Not only that, they wanted us to do it. Then, during that last fight, they monitored Relia's biological responses closely. Thus, they effectively measured certain changes that occur when she employs symbology. Very keen of you to grasp the situation. You're saying you used a whole ship's crew as bait for us? And it has all worked out as I planned. We only possess two units at the moment, but once we are able to mass-produce them, the information we collected from your endeavors with her will certainly be useful to our cause. Mass-produce? You use this place to craft endless numbers of people? Do you even understand what life is? <laughs> of all the ludicrous... <laughs> May we all meet again in the near future. Hand over Feria! If we're gonna go after General Alma, we'll need our ship. Let's hurry. Mom. Dad. What was that? Really? Uh, thank heavens you're alive and well. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kristoff, one of the researchers here. Are you really his dad? Well, her father figure. Now that you've shown yourself, I take it we can expect some answers vis-a-vis -vis this place? Our symbometric technology far eclipses that of the Federation's. As part of that, the research we conducted here was on the ultimate script. Symbols that can physically manipulate the fabric of space and time. Space-time symbols? As I'm sure you are well aware, the Pangalactic Federation appeared before Kronos 16 years ago by the Space Day Calendar. In order to combat their overwhelming military might, we embarked upon large-scale research to test the feasibility of using space-time symbols to turn life forms into weapons. Then, in Space Date 526, 
We were coerced by the Federation into approving the CFNZ. Coerced? I don't think so. In order to preserve the peace between our organizations, we had to establish mutually agreed upon terms before approving it. As a universal power, you can rationalize it that way. As the weaker party, though, we had no choice but to submit to those terms. We manufactured countless test subjects, but only succeeded at applying symbols to two of them, Relia and Feria. Those poor things! The military hawks quickly latched their talons onto exploiting these space-time symboforms. They set up facilities here, on Fakreed, and forced us to modify the local fauna. The next step was to release those symboforms into the wild. Up until that point, we had conducted our research clandestinely. Then, we received an order from them to pit our subjects against the natives for the sake of gathering data. They told us all this was imperative in order to defend ourselves against the Federation. So, in other words, you're saying everything that transpired here is the Federation's fault? Only that it was the impetus. We simply wanted to conduct our research in peace. Don't make me laugh. Treating a planet's population like lab rats is hardly peaceful. I know. It was difficult for us, too. We couldn't expose Relia to this travesty any longer, so we helped her escape aboard a shuttle. So, the metal thing that fell on the Dakov footpath was your shuttle? It was, indeed. Sadly, Thoris was apprised of our plan and had the thing shot down once it launched. Now, in order to unleash Feria's full potential, they plan on using the data they collected from the trials you've overcome with Relia. It seems that the Federation's appearance here has put General Alma on edge. I apologize for the impertinence of this request, but please, free Relia and Feria from their fate as instruments of war. With this card, you should be able to enter an edifice known on this planet as the Cygna Silica. Cygna Silica? Once you track its hallowed halls and reach the shrine within its deepest recesses, you will understand why we chose this planet as our laboratory. Do you have any idea where General Alma might have gone? I see. Well, I appreciate the other info. Let's move out. Relia. It's time to say goodbye, Relia. Huh? I'm afraid we can't go with you, honey. Why not? I get it. Now that the Federation knows of this facility, it won't be long before it's destroyed. There is nothing more we can do on our end. Take good care of Relia and Feria for us. Mom. Farewell, my dear Relia. Relia! Anne, prepare us for transport. Aye, aye, Captain. Whoops. Good to have you back, sir. Thanks. And the General's whereabouts? Oh, 
my. Oh my. Why just this spot? Do you know why there's no data for this one area? No readings? How? Captain, could you please come take a look at this? Did you find anything? I tried scanning the Cygnus Silica, but see for yourself. What the? That's definitely odd. Could it be another Kronos facility? The only explanation is that it blocks every single type and frequency of wave with which we could scan it. Such technology shouldn't even exist on this planet. Shields with this much range shouldn't exist anywhere in the Federation, let alone this planet. Well, not like running our mouths more will solve anything. Let's check it out. I agree. Besides, it's gonna take some time to find General Alma in that celestial haystack. As long as this shield is in operation, there's no hope of us transporting directly to its location. Although, even if we could, the structure itself also appears to hinder transport. Can buildings even do stuff like that? I guess that's life's way of telling me I need more exercise. Anyway, let's just beam down somewhere nearby. We can search on foot from there. Yes, sir. Get ready, ladies and gents. Next stop, the Cygna Silica. Whoops. 